Okay, great. Hey guys, we are now in uh, the Venetians. We are going to Kingston Suite. Come on. Hi, welcome to Kingston High Press at CES. Welcome to Albert Talking TV. We are currently at the CES in Las Vegas, and I'm in Kingston, and he's going to talk about uh, HyperX products. Sure, so uh, welcome to the, the HyperX booth. What we're doing this year is we're presenting some new products for water cooling, for the new water, water cooling systems people have. So if you look at this, you can see this is the new product that we have. It has the water cooling pipes that allow you to attach it to the same system that is used for the CPU and the graphics. So you are allowed to lower the temperature of the system, have better reliability for your gaming. So this is the product. We are going to be launching it formally before the end of the quarter. And we will be selling it in probably kits of three and, and kits for the P55 and X58 motherboards. And if you look here, you'll see that we actually did some temperature profiling of the product without water cooling, a little hotter than if you add the water cooling system in place. So there is a performance increase and it adds value to the product. So HyperX is now moving forward into some new things, including water cooling. And before the end of 2010, there will be some additional products that we'll be selling as well. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I have a question for you. Okay. Okay. Um, do you plan to release only the Twitter, not the memory? We plan on selling it as a product at this time. And the reason we're doing that is our quality people make sure that Kingston's products are very high quality. So if we only sold the attachment separately, there may be some concerns on how do you attach it correctly. So initially, the plan is 100% as a product. Okay, cool. And um, have you tested the increase of overclocking by using water cooling? Currently, the control is not related to the amount of water cooling you're using. It's related to the DRAMs you use. So currently, the performances are between 2133 and 2 giga, 2200 megahertz is the maximum that current DRAMs support. What you gain is long-term reliability and lower, power, lower thermal conditions in the system. Okay, great. And it's also cool looking. The key is it's very cool looking. Yeah. Of course, it's mainly the purpose for now. That's the main purpose at this point. Okay, cool. Yep.